Hey, my creators, do you want to learn how to make money online with Canva? You can make print on demand items. You can make printable items and all while making money passively with Canva. You really want to know? Well, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is come up with an idea. And you don't just want to pull ideas out of the air. You want to research your ideas. You have to make sure you research those ideas, guys. There's so many people who just decide, oh, I'm going to sell t-shirts with flowers. And maybe nobody is buying t-shirts with flowers at that given time. So you want to make sure that you do your research. I always tell my students to use Sell Samurai. Sell Samurai, it's uh, like a super smart helper, you know, for your Etsy shop. It makes it so much easier to find out what people are looking for and how you can sell more. It takes the guesswork out. So the first thing it does is it helps you to find the right words and it helps you to figure out the best keywords to use in your titles and your tags and also your descriptions so that people can find your stuff when they are searching. So secondly, Sell Samurai helps you to, you know, spy in, on your competition, check them out, and you can see what other sellers are doing. You can see what they're selling, how much they're charging, and also the keywords that they're using. And this actually helps to give you some ideas that maybe you can improve on and do even better in your own store. The third benefit of Sell Samurai, I believe, is that it helps you to find what is trendy. You know, you can spot the current trends. It shows you what's popular right now and what people might want, you know, for instance, for the holidays or certain seasons. And when you do that, you can make stuff that is in demand for that particular time. Another great thing about Sales Samurai is that it helps you to choose better tags for your Etsy store. And for those of you who don't know, tags are like labels that help to get your items noticed. Sales Samurai helps you to pick the best ones to bring in more shoppers to see your specific items. A fifth way the Sales Samurai helps you is by allowing you to set a smart price. And how do they do that? Well, they allow you to spy on your competitors, right? So you can check and see how much your competitors are selling similar items for. So if they're selling them a little too low or too high, you can adjust your price right in the middle, allowing you to still have a really high profit margin. You know what else Sell Samurai does? It helps you to learn things that people are looking for, but they can't seem to find. So you could be the person to create those products and start selling them. And that way you've really kind of created your own niche. One of the final ways I'm gonna talk about Sales Samurai and how it helps you today is that it can help you to track and see how many people are looking at and buying your stuff. And then you can make changes to do even better in the future. All right, creators, are you feeling inspired? I hope so. I really want you to feel inspired. So now that we've gotten out the way of Sell Samurai and how it can help you, especially if you're going to have an Etsy store, let's now concentrate on designing. So let's say you've decided that you're going to have a print on demand store. Let's say that you're going to sell mugs as your main item, or at least you're going to start there. So let's do some designing for mugs. All right, my creator. So we're over at printful.com and I have typed in white glossy mug and I am going to choose this one right here, the white glossy mug. One thing about this mug, I think it gives you a complete wraparound design. And that's what I do like about the Printful mugs. Now, the one that I found on Printify, I did not find that you could do a complete wraparound. 
So unless somebody has found that in Printify, please drop a line in the comments, but I did not find a wraparound. So I want to um, start creating a design for the white glossy mug. So let's start to do that now. Now, in order to find out what the um, size is that you need to start designing your mugs, you want to click on the pricing and file guidelines, and they are going to be different for each size mug. So if you only want to sell one size mug, then you don't have to select them all. But if you want to sell all of them, you would click on all three. My suggestion is to give people as many options as possible. So that would mean choosing all three. So once we click on these, if we click on pricing and file guidelines, if you click here for print file templates, click here. And now it's going to tell us what all of the sizes are for the different, um, or, or I'm sorry, it's going to tell us what the different, um, what do you call this, print file sizes for each of them. Sorry, I got a little brain freeze for a second. My mind was moving ahead. I was thinking of the next thing that I want to tell you, but this is what I want to tell you now. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> So we've got 11 ounces, 15 ounces, and 20 ounces. So let's start with making the larger size, which is the 20 ounce. And then we can um, downsize from there. All right, creators, I'm over on Printful.com. And what you see on the screen will probably be a little different from what you will see on the screen as a, um, as a vendor, because I am not actually using Printful in my store. I don't have an Etsy store. So I'm just on Printful. So it's given me the option to create a template. So this is going to be very similar to what you will do, but you will be adding products to your store. So the process will be the same as far as uploading the design. So we created a 20 ounce. So I'm going to upload the design for the 20 ounce and we're going to see how that works out. I'm going to upload a design that I created on Canva, a beautiful design, and I will upload it now. All right. So let me start uploading that design and then it will let us know if it um, is a 300 minimally, a 300 DPI. All right, so we have had a very successful upload. It shows you on the left-hand side here that the print quality is good. It's 318 DPI. It fits perfectly, and that's because we sized it from the beginning. We sized it. So let's click on mock-ups, and it's going to show us the various mock-ups. So you see how this wraps all the way around? So you can see the different sizes. So it wraps completely around um, the mug or at least up to the, the handle itself. So these are different mock-ups that you would be able to use in your store if you chose. But of course, I have shown you how to create your own mock-ups if you like. Now, I will leave a link in the description if you need a reminder on how to uh, create your own mock-ups. And um, that will be, I'll also put it as a pinned comment as well. So now I'm going to show you something that I don't think I actually showed you before. We're going to go over to paint.net. And I've mentioned this in my earlier videos. And this is how you can resize your designs. Now we resize the designs in Canva, but paint.net actually does it better because paint.net takes the entire image and resizes the entire image. When you resize it in Canva, you have to actually move things around maybe on the page because it just resizes the page. It doesn't resize the design itself. So paint.net will actually resize the design. So let's go and check out paint.net. I'm going to put a video up on the screen so you can see what I've done. Okay, creators, I simply went to file and open. I opened the file that we originally 
download it from Canva. I click on image and then resize. It shows that the resolution of that file was 318 DPI, which is wonderful. But now we need to resize that for the 15 ounce. So I'm going to make that 9.9 .9 by 3.8. And now I'm going to click on OK. Once you click on OK, you then go to File and Save As and save the file to something distinctive. Like I just put the ending on here as like 15 ounce. So I know when I got ready to upload that file to Printful that this was the 15 ounce file that I would need for Printful for that cup. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to open the original file again. This is the original that we downloaded from Canva. Click on image and resize. You see that the resolution was still 318 and we are changing the width to nine and the height to 3.5 because that's what we need for the 11 ounce. I'm going to file and save as, and I'm just, just going to change this file name to Instead of 15 ounce, I'm going to make it 11 ounce. Click on save. And now you have saved both of your files. All right, creators. So now we're ready to load to Printful. So creators, we are now back on uh, Printful and we're on the 15 ounce mug. And so now we want to upload that file that we just created in paint.net for the 15 ounce mug. That was a 9.9 .9 by 3.8. So let's start to upload that file and see what results we get. We got perfect results. Look at that. It is 350 DPI. And you realize the DPI is actually larger on this file. That's because the file size is smaller. So because the smile, sm the file size is smaller, the DPI is compensated for that. So we, we got more, um, more DPI and less file space. You get what I'm saying? So it's like it either stretches one way or the other, you either get more DPI and less file or less DPI and more file, one or the other. So let's click on mockups and check out the mockups. Why are the mockups looking like this? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right. So now you can see these are the largest size mockups, this or the smallest size. This is a 15 ounce mockup. And then we would just do the same thing for the 11 ounce mug. And I'm sure that that will work out the same because we use the same process. And because we used paint.net to resize our designs instead of Canva, we didn't have to worry about moving items around on the page to make sure they fit within those size dimensions okay we just resize the entire design so that's why paint.net does come in handy for a lot of designs that have a lot of intricate elements that you don't want to mess up the spacing on the design all right my creators so that was a lesson in what you can do to start your own print on demand store. I'm telling you, if you never get started, you will never start. It won't start. So take a chance on yourself. You have learned today how to resize designs. You've learned how to do some research. You've learned, um, how to make sure that you are searching out the right terms, the keywords and things for your designs. But I get it. It's a lot. And sometimes, you know, you can say to yourself, come on, Joy, you know, I got enough just to try to get the store going. So I get that. I understand. If you don't have time to design, you can research and find places where you can get your own designs. There's Creative Fabrica. There's me. 
you know, I've got the uh, joyartclub.online. So you're welcome to check there. I'll have lots of designs. And as I teach you things, I design more things for you to be able to use in your store. I design more templates, more images and things like that. So if you don't feel like designing, trust me, I understand it. I got it. I got you covered. I've got designs on my store. Nothing is more than I think $2 at the very most. So you know, just go over there, check it out. But whatever you do, get some designs and start designing. Make them your own. Do what you need to do. Don't stop. Don't quit. Just keep going no matter what you do. Okay. And as always, remember, the more we create, the less that we hate. I'll see you in the next video.